We're now going to talk about functions of three variables. The function f of three variables is a rule which assigns to every point x, y, z in some domain a number f of x, y, z which so is an element of the set of real numbers. So here d is a subset of R3. The set of points where the function f is defined. So this is completely analogous to a function of two variables. The function just depends now on one additional variable z. Now how do we visualize such a function? Well, the graph What is the graph? Well, it's the set of points x, y, z, w in R4, so in four-dimensional space, such that w equals f of x, y, z. So this is a three-dimensional hypersurface in four-dimensional space. Now this is too hard to draw. What's more practical is to draw the level sets. And these are usually surfaces, so we sometimes call them level surfaces. So a level surface is, well, you fix a number k, and you look at the set of all points x, y, z in the domain, such that f of x, y, z is equal to k. And if we draw some of these surfaces, for different values of k, then we'll get a useful visual representation of the function. For example, let's sketch some level surfaces of the function f of x, y, z equals x squared plus y squared minus c squared. Now if we set f equals zero, then we get the equation x squared plus y squared equals c squared. And you'll remember from the unit on quadric surfaces that this is a cone. So let's draw this cone. So this cone is the level surface f equals zero. Now, what if we set f equals 1, for example, then I get the equation x squared plus y squared equals z squared plus 1. And this is a hyperboloid. Is it one sheet or two sheets? Well, you look at the equation. If z equals 0, then we do have solutions because the right-hand side is positive. So for, for any z, there will be solutions x to y. So this is a hyperboloid of one sheet. And let's draw that in our picture. So here it is. It's outside of the cone. So this is the level surface, f equals 1, or level set, f equals 1. Um, we could also try f equals minus 1. We get the equation x squared plus y squared equals z squared minus 1. And this is also a hyperboloid. 
but now the right-hand side is negative if z is between minus 1 and 1, and then there are no solutions x and y. So this is a hyperbolate of two sheets. So let's draw that in our picture. There's an upper sheet, which is sort of inside the upper part of the cone, and a lower sheet, which is inside the lower part of the cone. So this is the level surface f equals minus 1. You can also think about all these surfaces as a movie. You could imagine taking some value f, like starting at f equals 1, where I have this outer hyperbolate of one sheet. Then we could decrease the value of f. And as we decrease the value of f, the surface we get is going to move. And when f gets to 0, this hyperbolate of one sheet pinches to form a cone. And then as f goes past 0 and becomes negative, it splits into these two separate sheets. So you can try imagining the movie in which the hyperbolate of one sheet pinches into a cone and splits into two sheets. Um, so anyway, this is a useful way to visualize a function of three variables.